Reploid, my name is Silver Reploid CLE and welcome back to another tutorial video. Today I'm going to be doing a new chapter this time, well this is not chapter 3, this is chapter 4 because well, I've been recently requested by my professor and of course a few other classmates of mine in presentation applications to do more tutorial videos on the graded projects that I've worked on. Now before I get started, if you hadn't seen the one that I did where chapter 2 talks about presenting the presentations, you may check that out as an outro of this video, but for now, I want to be doing chapter 4 this time because, well, this is what my professor suggested me at first. So before this video starts, I'm going to take the time to say this greater project right here is super easy because this morning I tested out a few theories after I read the few directions pertaining to this chapter's greater project, and this is pretty simple. It's pertaining to inserting media for each slide that you have. Now, as you can see, I had the PowerPoint open already, and you have a total of these files, you have eight files this time. Well, one of them is the presentation application grade project, and these seven are the, and these six are the things that you insert to your presentation. And down here are just the instructions on what to do for this grade project in order to make a hundred. Now, this is guaranteed going to get you to one hundred percent. So, watch carefully because there are some steps that may throw you off sometimes. Because, well, some people have never used PowerPoint a lot more often like I do. Because, well, I use that needless to say to make. YouTube thumbnails even though I never applied them to every video that I have on my channel but without further ado let's go ahead and get started with chapter 4's greater project here we go okay so the f we're focusing on Washington DC project description your parents recently visited Washington DC you volunteered to create a slideshow that they can email to family and friends you used a modified version of Microsoft's contemporary photo album template in this activity, you will create the content, insert the photos, modify the photos, add sound, and insert a video clip of the soldier in Arlington. Instructions For the purpose of grading the project, you are required to perform the following tasks. There are 16 tasks in total, or 16 steps, in other words, and the first step is rather obvious. Go to your download files in the My IT Lab, for those who are taking My IT Lab presentation applications via My IT Lab, you go to download files and you will see the files there, you download the stuff, including the grade project. That completes the first basic step. Step 2, we will go to slide 1 and insert the downloaded Exploring P04 Greater H1 DC1, aka Washington DC1, picture in the file, in the placeholder, the picture placeholder. So go to your presentation and click on the placeholder icon right here where it says pictures, and you will insert a picture of the first. Washington DC picture. So I said it in the desktop in the recommended directory so that way I won't lose sight of where I downloaded it at. So anyway, there's the first picture right here. As you can see, it should look like this with the White House. You insert that in there and that completes step two. Step three, on slide three, insert a downloaded picture of DC3 picture in the placeholder and insert the caption, the Capitol building. So we go to slide three and then we'll click on the image placeholder and we'll insert this picture right here. This is the tall building of the White House, so insert that in the placeholder and then add the caption, the Capitol Building. That's the Capitol Building. Alright, so that completes step three. Step four, crop out the vehicle in the bottom of the photo. Use the Format Picture Task pane to set the vertical position of the image to zero. Okay, so we'll go to slide the same slide where it has the Capitol building, we want to crop out the picture. So in order to do the cropping, you would need to go to the first you would need to select the picture first of the Capitol building. Then go to the ribbon and click on the format tab. Next, you're going to click on the crop feature. Once you do that, you you will see that there are edges where it changed to the black and white edge. So you want to remove part of the van that's being displayed in this picture. So take this part and gently crop out a bit of the simulacrum right there, the picture in other words. Sorry if I use big words a lot, I use big words a lot of times. So as you can see the picture, part of the car has been removed, it's been cropped so once you finish click crop again so that way it can take effect and as you can see it completes step four. Wait, you have to also change the positioning, the vertical positioning to zero. So well it's already been set to zero as you can see because well once you go to format and go to positioning, you will uh, see that the vertical positioning is already set to zero, so there's no need for this. But just in case there's something other than zero, replace that 
number with zero for the vertical position, and that completes your step four. Step five, on slide four, change the layout to left two pictures with captions. So we're going to go to slide four this time, and we're going to change the layout. So you're looking for the layout feature on the slide section in the home tab. So click on layout, and we're looking for left two pictures with caption. It's located in the fifth column in the second row, which is right here. So apply this. That completes step five. Step six, replace the text in the title of placeholder with Washington Monument and Lincoln Memorial. So we're gonna go right here, Washington Monument, Lincoln Memorial. Okay, make sure you apply and, I'll type in and as well. Space that out. So that completes the title placeholder, and we're going to add the pictures DC4 and DC5 to the left and right. Make sure they're in order though. First go with DC4, it goes to the left first. Insert this first. Then DC5 to the right. And that completes your step 6. Step 7, on slide 1, select the picture and apply the rotated white picture style and then apply the watercolor sponge artistic effect. So to do that, we'll go to slide 1 and we're going to select the picture right here of the White House of Washington DC. And then we're going to apply a few effects. First it wants us to apply the rotated picture white, like this, and we're going to add the artistic effect, which is watercolor sponge. So we'll add the uh, rotated white picture style and then apply the watercolor sponge for artistic effect. Now remember, both of these features are located in the format tab via the picture styles right here. Apply this, then go to artistic effects. Now the water... Okay, it's already been applied. So the watercolor effect is located in the... Um... Hold on, reset the, reset the picture. Let's try it again. Rotate it white. And then apply the artistic effect with... Is it working? What's going on? Oh, hold on one sec, guys. Alright, so the watercolor sponge effect is located in the second column on the third row, so click that. Make sure you click that. Now regarding the side, you can see that there's part of the picture that's already overlapping the slide pane. So, Well, not the slide pane, but the presentation slide. So don't worry about that. Just leave it like it is. It'll still be displayed. It'll still count as correct, as correct. so just move on to the next step. That completes step 7. Step 8. On slide 5, select the bottom left picture and then increase the image brightness to 20%. So we're going to slide five, and we're going to do some picture corrections. Okay, so at the bottom left, you can see that there are soldiers, there are three soldiers right there, and we're going to increase the image brightness to 20%. To do that, we're going to right click on the bottom left picture, then click on format picture, and then we're going to go to this icon right here, which says pictures, and we're going to click on the picture corrections menu. Okay, so we're going to apply the brightness to 20%. So type in 20%. Oops. 20%. Oops. It's actually counting a little bit. I pressed a different key that triggered it to like uh, change the. Uh, it's going to work. <sighs> Alright, so it's changed to 20%. I don't know what was over my. Um, feature right here but uh, it's fixed now so that takes care of the brightness for this picture so that completes step 8 step 9 we're going to highlight we're going to select the top left picture on the same slide which is this right here you can see that there are trees so we're going to focus on this picture and we're going to apply the saturation of 200% and then we're going to set the color tone to 7200k okay so we're gonna go to picture color section in the same menu where it says format picture click on picture color you can close this out if you like then change the saturation to 200 percent and when you do that we're gonna go to format tab and we're going to go to color then we're going to highlight go to the color tone section and select Temperature is 7200K, which is located in the second row, fifth column. Click that, and that should take care of this step right here. 
Alright, so step 9 is complete. Step 10, on slide 5, compress the picture of the three guardians. Ensure that both compression options are selected and set the target output to email. So, we're going to go to this, we're on the same slide, and we're going to select the three soldier picture again. And then we're going to click on compress pictures in the adjust section in the format tab. So click that. These two you don't need to worry about. The target output is email, so select email. Then click OK. You can close this pane now. Alright, so that takes care of step 10. Step 11. On slide 6, add the title text, changing of the guard, then center the text. Go to slide 6, then type in changing of the guard. Now they told you to center the text, but it's already been centered, so there's nothing you need to worry about right here. That completes step 11. Step 12. On slide 6, use the content placeholder to search for and insert the video mp4 video, resize the video height to 5.25 inches tall, and reposition the video if necessary so that it is centered under the title. So we're going to go to the PowerPoint and click on the video placeholder, insert video, then click on browse because they want you to insert the video that you downloaded from my IT lab. So as you can see there's a video right here, the mp4 file, put that in there, and it's already been centered, so that completes the step. Step 13. Set the movie to play automatically and change the video options to hide while not playing and rewind after playing. Okay, so we're going to go to the video playback tab and apply the automatically start. And we're going to hide while not playing and rewind after playing. Okay, so that completes step 13. Step 14, now we're almost done. Now like I said, this grader project is very easy. Now if you watch this video, if you're having trouble doing a grader project, you can refer to this video, but if not, then that's okay. <clears throat> okay, so on slide 1, step 14, on slide 1, insert the downloaded audio clip, the Yankee Doodle dot wave. This time I'm going to insert the audio clip on slide 1. So let's go to slide 1, click on the slide, and click on the insert tab. And then we're going to go to media section and then click audio and audio from my PC because we basically downloaded the file for the greater project. So you can see that there's Yankee Doodle. So insert the Yankee Doodle sound. And of course, we're going to configure the audio so that it plays across the slides and starts automatically. Then hide the audio icon during the show. All right, so to do that, we're going to go to the playback tab. We're already on the playback tab. Set to automatically. Play across slides. And it was that and hired during the show, and it was that too. Okay, so with that finished, we're going to go ahead and do the final step, which is very, very easy. This is regarding the compression, the size of the medias that you have inserted in your PowerPoint greater project. So we're gonna to go to the presentation again, then click on File. Now we're going to compress to low quality, so that way everything will be fit in there and won't have any dilemmas or anything. So click on Compress Media in the backstage, and then we're going to click on low quality. So once you do that, everything is complete right here. It's been compressed. So once you do that, you close out. And then you just simply save your graded project and submit it to my IT labs for grade. And that completes the chapter 4 graded project. Now, like I said, this is a very quick process. And of course, this graded project compared to the other ones is spontaneously simple and not laborious. So. Once again, if you are having a hard time still doing this greater project, you may refer to this video where I show you step by step how to do the steps regarding the media insertion. But if you're not having a hard time, then you don't have to watch this video. But if you'd like to, then you may do so. And once again, like I said in the previous video, this is not clickbait, but if you want more of these tutorials on how to do these greater projects, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. And in the near future, I might work on chapter 6 if it's easy or not. Now, some of these great projects, I'm going to say something. Some of these great projects that I do on video as a tutorial might not get you to 100% because, well, we all make mistakes. So, just as long as you get like a 70 or above, I'll do the best I can to do these great projects for you guys, the tutorial videos for you guys. But if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button. And if you want more of these tutorials, let me know by subscribing. And if you find this useful, you may leave your feedback in the comments area and I appreciate you guys watching this video for those who are in need of assistance for the great project and with that being insinuated I hope you enjoyed this video once again this is Silver Report CLE more videos to come soon 
Hope you guys enjoyed the fullest, and I'll see you guys in the next video.